The most recent road fatality was on Tuesday afternoon. 36-year-old engineer Janine Carr died on the Churchill-Roosevelt Highway after her vehicle spun out of control and crashed into a light pole on the median. Acting ACP Joan Archie said her death brings the road death toll for this year to 82 compared to 65 for the same period in 2018. For this year, over 42,710 traffic tickets were issued to drivers, of which 16,435 were for exceeding roadway speed limits. The TTPS is appealing to all road users to practice safe and responsible road use to prevent such tragedies from occurring. We at the TTPS are very concerned and disappointed by this upward trend as many of these incidents are preventable if persons would exercise greater caution on the nation's road by simply obeying road traffic rules and regulations. Road Safety Coordinator Brent Batson said the TTPS will be lobbying the Ministry of Works and Transport to include in proposed amendments to the Road Traffic Act the use of rear seat belts. But we're appealing to everybody to help us. We're in the last quarter of the year. Uh, we're up by 26%. We are begging you, please, no more. He said many of the fatalities are preventable with the use of seatbelts. Acting ACP Archie said from next week, the TTPS Traffic and Highway Patrol branch will be commencing an aggressive high visibility and traffic enforcement campaign with the deployment of some of the new motorcycles which were provided to the TTPS by China. Mahalia Joseph Horton, TTT News.